I leave, but I don't have any friends. You know what I'm saying? We can be our friends. Yay! Or friend substitutes, whichever you prefer. Friends of what? We can be your real friends. Can if, be. If you're friendly towards us. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I have to be friendly. Yeah, no. Oh no. It kind of helps. Right, yeah. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Jacob, why are you so quiet? You're being too quiet. You're an ENTP, you fuck nugget. Yeah, why is the ENTP the one not on cam? I, I help every day, Jacob. You know that. <laughs> Hey, Unify, I'd call you my friend, but you, uh, like, we don't actually hang out, so, you know. Saint Swede. Saint Swede, that's Jacob. Okay. Jacob. 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 Because you're more entertaining on cam. You're an introvert mode, but you're not an introvert. You're an extroverted fuck nugget perceiver. Go drink, a, go drink a pint of beer or something. It's an EFNP, extroverted fuck nugget perceiver. Drink a pint of beer and then come show yourself. Oh, this is sensor free zone pretty much. Yeah, ENTP extroversion is a bit different than, uh, like, say, INFJ trying to extrovert. Because INFJ extroversion, that means socializing is a component of it, yes, but uh, for ENTPs, there's got to be there's got to be some some sort of idea, some sort of something they can they can work with, not just like, so how's the weather? Oh, it's been good. Oh, it's been good. How you been? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Are you talking about people who only think about like what they're going to eat next, or what they're going to watch well, I mean, next? And I mean, I, I do I do that too because it's like sometimes I don't don't want to segue into because sometimes I'm not really comfortable just like riffing in the middle of a group. Well, I'm not either. Like if, but I if get I'm not comfortable, then I'll be like, oh, so how you been? How are things? Or like, you know, like, uh, what have you been doing lately? Whereas, you know, normally I'll just be like, you know, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about let's talk about human radiation. Let's talk about that. That's, that's <laughs> interesting. Exactly. Let's talk about something that actually matters instead of what we're going to eat next, where we're going to go um, uh, to drink next, or or what comes on television. Let's talk about the fact that I think that it seems like everything in life is screaming towards an infinite void and that I do think that there is purpose in life and that despite this purpose and this meaning that we can gather from this life, it doesn't necessarily change the outcome. I think that the outcome is probably fair, not necessarily kind, but it is fair and that, you know, we all have our chance to exist, um, not necessarily as equals, but we exist in our own ways. But uh, I think we as human beings are prone to try to make meaning out of what we've been given rather than waiting for the meaning to expose itself from experience. I just find most people just fucking boring. And that's just a generalization, but because I'm drunk and haven't slept. But. No, but it's true. It's like... Look at that thing. Yeah, it's nothing like, to talk about, but look at that thing. Yeah, let's 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 watch a television show. Let's watch a comedy. So I totally like how I came up with something we could talk about. We could talk about the nature of like meaning and stuff like that. What the fuck did you two just do? You're like, you know, fox boring people. Let's talk more about the people that we hate. <laughs> let's talk more about the people that bore the shit out of us because we're so entertaining that we, we gotta keep talking about the same shit. No, we are kind of boring. Uh, well, I mean, that, that no, we're not boring. boring. We're not boring. We're it's overbearing with our, with our knowledge. You can't generalize we're, the word boring in that sense. We're not, we're not boring accustomed to having... I, I don't think many of us are accustomed to having free reign. 
because it's not entirely an intuitive world. It's in some ways more so than it's been in the past, in some ways less so. But uh, just the whole concept of let's just sink into just the metaphysical as much as we can. Let's just do that, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we get the sense, should I be doing something else? Mm-hmm. And it's like, maybe, although there's that quote, I can't remember who said it, but it was like, the fool would become wise if only he persisted in his folly. And it's I kind of feel like the, um, the, um, the blind man is king in the world of the uglies. No, I, I kind of, I kind of see it as like, I man becoming wise by persisting in his folly is like, I think, as intuitives, uh, I think if we persisted more heavily in the intuitive, and I mean, like, actually, I mean, th- this is all, this is also enneagram for me playing a role in this, affecting how I, how I word this, but I, I feel like if I try to use, I agree. Sort of, metaphysical ideas to achieve things in life more than just assuming that the metaphysical was bullshit and I need to focus on sensor stuff. I think I'd probably get further ahead than if I just freaked out over sensor related stuff all the time. <clears throat> I just want more depth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People just seem so, sh- so I don't want to say transparent because that's that's not Really the word I'm trying to use. I, I just I feel that so many people have no interest in the way the, the universe works and have such simple minded interests that I can't connect with Well I think it's also really easy to and I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be like arrogant or anything. It's just it's just I can't You mean like yeah, down to earth there, it's, or it's, like it's, only relate to uh, Sort of here and now, and the uh, things that circulate around their life. Exactly, like like what they're gonna eat next, or like what they're gonna watch on television next, or or or. I mean, I know I, I've had friends like that, and I've I've tried my best to keep friendly with them, but they just bore the fuck out of me, and 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 they don't want to talk about anything that means anything. They want to talk about just like fucking. I don't know, fucking what's coming on television next. I think being self pres makes me a bit more sympathetic to censors because I, I do that quite a bit. I'll be like, what the fuck are we eating? I'm like, where, where, where are we going to do this thing? That thing? I'm sort of like comfortable with that stuff, but at a certain point, it's like I want to start talking about things. No, and no, I notice no, something. I don't, I, don't mean, I don't mean about deciding where to eat. I mean about like that's all they eat. Right, yeah, that like that. That's it. To yeah, to like, be interested in. I know, I know how to spot SJs now. I didn't know before, but now I know like a really quick way to spot them. I can spot SJs because if I start going into NI mode and just talking like I normally do, they all get the same look of fear in their eyes, because, like it's instinctual. Well, because they can't keep up with us, and I'm not saying that isn't again. I'm not saying that is an arrogant thing. They don't. Like, like, they don't understand how to, to to converse in in an intelligent way. They would they would rather talk about the simple minded things of life because it's it's, it's more easy for them. Maybe. But, not, but is it because because we find it uninteresting because it's obvious and they find our discussions not as interesting because they aren't that relevant? Maybe it's not. Uh, intelligence, but intuitive. No, I wouldn't way. say intelligence either. I would just say yeah. intuitive way. Intuitive. I, I I'd say like manners of attention, like yeah. you get one group talking about the things they like, and then the other group talking about the things they like, and when they start mix and matching, it's like oh, the thing you're talking about, like in terms of like cognitive focus, it's like eh, like your brain's sort of like the way it's spinning is it's like oh yeah okay that's that's that kind of information I'm focused on the most kind. Yeah, yeah, that that's so evident. Like in a bigger discussion, where where there's many discussions going on at the same time. As an ENTP, I find myself sort of breezing in between the discussions and just basically, literally jumping in between them to which one I think is most entertaining at the moment. 
<clears throat> I just find a hard time finding someone I can have a conversation with that I enjoy. I have a cousin who's like me. We can talk for hours about the intricacies of, of life and the universe. And I enjoy it greatly. We don't see each other that often, but everyone else seems to want to talk about, you know, like, hey, I got this new recipe, or hey, blah, 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 blah. I, you know, I want to tell it Great, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like that, those aren't the important things in life. Well, I mean, today, I guess today, today they are, but. I, I guess that's my, my hang up, I guess. I don't know. No, but it, it depends on your own interests, like cooking. I guess you could say that's sensor stuff. But there's diff different levels to that, too. So, like, I've taken interest in that, so I can discuss it on a stupid level for a shorter period of time. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that about, uh, like dual pairs, like they sort of balance each other out in some ways. Like I was reading something about uh, ESTPs and INFJs. And they were like, yeah, the INFJs, they do more shit now, and the ESTPs more chill, and that was much of a bitch. Well, I'm an, as an INTP, I wish, I truly wish, no, I don't wish I were an INTJ, but I wish I were able to use my knowledge more in a practical sense. <clears throat> but I would never want to be a judger. Yeah, I think that can be... Uh, but I, 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 long, I long to be able to be effective, but I, I'm not. I'm a thought process person. That, that's, that's what I was saying, is I think that, like, in the... Like, if, if only we persisted in our folly, like, if only we threw in more with the metaphysical stuff, like, for INTPs, like, their creative function is NE, so it's, like, metaphysical action in terms of, like, creation, what they're throwing out there, so it's, like, I feel like, like for I'll, INTPs, I'll the grasp, focus should be on that more. I'll grasp upon uh, an interest, and once I get enough information, I lose interest and in, 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 in move on to the next, the next interest, the next... Uh -huh obsession and once I'm done with that I move on to something else I I can't implement anything but I mean that comes along with being an INTP sort of like maybe this applies more to INTPs it's like like with adding intuition to stuff it's like you're adding another dimension to something and it's like it's like if you got like this sort of sensor based discussion going on it's like it's operating in a lower dimension but when they're talking about that stuff they're there in that dimension whereas I feel like the more intuitive problem is that you can be operating on you know more dimension I'm not going to say a higher dimension I'm saying like more but you're not like the, the trap is that you could easily not be present to the ones that you're inhabiting. So it's like the fact that you're not entirely there in the other realms that other people are in is exacerbated by the fact that you're coming off as even more intangible. Yeah. I mean, I truly, I just, I, 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 my family told me, and I agree with it, and I know it's true. I'm, I come off as an arrogant son of a bitch that is a know-it-all that wants to monologue everybody, doesn't listen to anyone, waits to waits <clears throat> listen to people speak, and waits until it's my turn to talk, uh, desperately trying to remember what it was I, I'm trying to say because they've cut me off, and I've got to just I've got to I've got to I have probably said this before I've got to explain concepts in order to explain the concept that I'm trying to impart upon them. And, and then I just come off as an ass. See, and since learning about typology and all this different stuff, it's like, I realize there's a use for that. Even if you're like, ah, oh, other people see me as an asshole and stuff like that, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a 